YouTube, it's Jennifer. <clears throat> it is October 22nd, 2012. This is my week 34 gastric bypass update. This is Ugg the cat. Not mine, not my sister's. It's a friend of my sister's, but we're taking care of him for a while. Um, I lost two pounds this week, or two and a half pounds. Um, so I'm down to 223. Uh, I guess that's a little bit of a goal um, because when I started this whole process, like going to the orientations and everything, I was 323 and today I am 223. So I have lost 100 pounds since the beginning of all of this. Um, I've lost 78 pounds, um, 78 pounds since surgery. So, um, I'm not doing too terribly bad. Um, this is my second attempt at making this video, so I'm trying to remember what I said in the first video, but, um, yeah, so I'm kind of excited about this period of surgery of being post-op because this is like when you start to notice all the changes that you've made and you start to notice the weight loss and you start it and people start noticing majorly, like a major weight loss. It's, it's different when people start saying, oh, you've lost some weight, but now they're like, oh my God, like, <laughs> it's just totally different. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah. Um, as you can tell, I am back home. Um, the situation, the job in Minnesota ended up not being what I thought it would be. So that in combination with the fact that I couldn't get approved for housing anywhere, um, because I had filed for bankruptcy right before I left and I thought it would give me 30 to 60 days before it showed up on my credit report, but apparently it took like eight days. So everybody was denying me due to my bankruptcy. So I couldn't find housing, long-term housing. The job was not what I thought it would be. Um, it was only going to last six months anyway, so it was just in my best interest to come back home. So now I'm here. Um, I'm proud of myself for getting up and moving. Um, it was really hard to go, but I'm glad that I took the opportunity, um, even though it ended up not being the opportunity I thought, but I'm glad that it, it ended up that way. Um, or I'm glad that it, I went, that's what I'm saying. Um, I'm not glad that it ended up that way because I came back home and I'm glad that I came back home and I'm glad that I had the help while I was in, um, Minnesota because Doug letting me stay there saved me a lot of money and, um, my mom was helping me financially when I needed it and, um, my sister staying here at the house kind of helped me and now she's home. Kind of helped me, but I'm just kind of disappointed that I came back home. You're gonna be on camera. Hi. Cause you're behind me and I'm making a video. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, um, but I'm kind of disappointed that you know there's like those moments where you're kind of tested and you it's correlated to the weight loss and everything, but you kind of decipher what kind of person you are when faced with that kind of issues, like difficult things. And um, I kind of caved and came back home. Even though the job and the housing were circumstantial and I couldn't have done anything about it, it just kind of sucks that I just gave up. But anyway, I am home and everything is going well and my sister's probably excited because she's getting her house this week. Are you getting your house this week? I don't know. Either this week or next. Okay, this week or next week, she's getting her house. And I don't know what's going to happen with the job, and I don't know what's going to happen with all this stuff, but I'm still losing weight, so I guess that's all that matters. And hopefully my next mini goal, my second mini goal was 220, so I'm only three pounds from that. And then after that, it's to be in Wonderland by Christmas, which is not that far away. So um, I guess that's all. I will talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.